Today I'm going to show you how to take a regular amigurumi tube, like a leg or an arm, and make it curve without losing a space for the stuffing, so that making sure that this stays the same width all the way around, but still allows you to curve and make those 90 degree corners with one piece. We're going to be using a method called short rows or short rounds, depending on how you want to look at it. And basically we're going to make a bunch of back and forth rows on one half of the tube and none on the other. So the inside of our corner has no rows and the outside of our corner has lots more. We need to curve something. We need to remember that the inside corner is going to be much shorter than the outside edge. So when we're trying to make a 90 degree corner, this may only have one stitch where we've got to have many stitches around this side in order to make the piece curve around itself. So how do you do that with a three-dimensional tube like when you're working with amigurumi? So what we're going to do is make a section where there's a whole bunch of rows here or rounds in this case as we're going to refer to them and none on this side. And we're going to have to make this at an angle so that when we do another round closing up our long side and our short side, they can go down together and make one nice row that goes around like this. So in order to do that, you turn your work. Don't chain here so that this step has as little bulk as possible. So we're just going to work straight into it. And we're going to work halfway around. So in this case, eight stitches. That's four, five, six, seven, and eight. That leaves eight stitches, or the other half of our tube, open here, unworked. We're going to turn again and go back the other way seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're going to leave one stitch unworked on this round. All right? So on this side, we have these stitches. On this side, we have this unworked stitch on a step and then the unworked stitches on this side. We're going to turn again, go back, and leave one stitch unworked. So we're going to work six stitches coming back this way. Two, three, four, five, and six and leave that last stitch of our step up unworked. Now you can see how we're starting to make our diagonal line that we're gonna use to connect them again. So we're gonna turn, remember not to chain at the beginning of these rounds, and work back all the way except for the last stitch. So that means there's gonna be five stitches in this round or row, however you want to look at it. Five, there's our steps, turn, go back the other way, four stitches, two, three, and four, turn again, go back the other way, three stitches, two, and three, turn again and go back two so we leave the step on this end. Now when you turn your last turn should always leave your outside facing you again so your right side facing because you want to start going around again with your right side facing you so that all the stitches from this section match all the rest of the stitches after the curve. Now, you can see we have our eight stitches on the side that we want to only have one row, and then we've worked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows on the other side. 
So that's one and seven, and that means this is gonna curve real nice and dramatically when we curve it. But in order to make this not just be a big giant drop off, we've put steps in. Gone through and marked the skipped stitches or the, the stitches left unworked at the end of each short round. So you can see I've marked each one and they make a staircase on either side of our long side of our corner. Now you can go ahead and mark your stitches if that helps you find them. You can also look down at them and you can see the V that we're used to seeing in a stitch. So working this round, we're going to go back with the right side facing now because we finished our last short round that faced the other way. So we're going to turn and we're going to go back the two stitches of this short round all the way to the edge, not, not leaving a stitch this time. And then we're just going to go down this staircase as if the steps weren't there. So here's the, the first unworked stitch stitch that we left and there's the next unworked stitch that we left and there's the next unworked stitch that we left then there's all these eight unworked stitches from way back seven whole rounds ago two three four five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to go back up the steps. So same thing, there's our, our stitch we left unworked, SC in that. There's our stitch we left unworked, SC in that. There's our stitch we left unworked, SC in that. And we're back where we started. So we're going to make two stitches that will get us back to what would be the beginning of our round. So this gets us back to the beginning. Now, as you can see, our opening used to face this way. So on this round, the opening faced like this. Now, after we've made this one really long side, and left this side with only one row of round of SEs, our opening now faces this way. It, we've curved the entire piece. So I'm gonna do one more round for you just to show you how this curve is going to develop. This is a very sharp curve because we only had one row of SCs on this side to our seven rounds on the, or rows on the other side, or run round of SCs to our seven on the other. So that's gonna make a nice sharp corner. So you'll see that this is an almost 90 degree corner. So you can see that our piece is curving around and we've made our nice little angle. So there you've figured out how to make a corner with a tube in Amigurumi. Some great patterns for this are listed in the description, and I hope you check them out. Also, please check out the website for any more questions and many more tutorials on how to make your Amigurumi awesome, and I will see you next time. Thanks!